I don't want your guns. The other day I turned on the TV and saw something that really upset me. 50 killed in an Orlando nightclub and the death of Christina Grimmie. Every time there's a shooting here in America, it becomes us versus them. The shit is really scary, bruh. Radical Islamic terrorists, my ass. Hate was shown those nights, no matter rank or class. Race or religion, color or creed. It's all the same red blood we bleed. It's all the same tangled web we weave. And it's all the same love we need. Saturday morning, I woke in depression. Gunned down at 22. Horror was my expression. As I read the headline, I cried it can't be true. Christina was an inspiration of mine. Now she's gone too soon. I wanted it to be fake. The internet likes to play tricks. But as the day went on, the story seemed to stick. That day was brutal, horrible, wretched, all the same. As entertainers who professed to be Christian questioned God's name. She was young, talented. Her gift was amazing. Everyone in the room would stop and listen when Grimmie'd sing. It seems that her earthly time was cut short. But her mission was complete, and she gave her final report. As wretched as a death it was, it's in the master's plan. We must remain faithful and know he holds us in his hands. Sunday I awoke to more death and violence. Fifty killed at a nightclub, I took a moment of silence. But we just lost Christina. This person didn't care. I'm actually quite sure that they were well aware. They wanted to spread more hate and cause others pain. So they loaded up their clip and as they say in the hood, let it rain. 53 were injured in this horrendous tragedy, the largest mass shooting in American history. All we want is answers. Who, what, why? How did this happen? Why did people have to die? How did he get the weapon? There's the underlying question. We need to change the laws in this place to stop this mass destruction. But I don't want your guns. In fact, you can keep them. Protect yourself, your family, by all means if you need them. But if you have nothing to fear in passing a simple test, then let's change the laws together and put the senseless violence to rest. I don't want your guns. You're the good guys, so you say. But bad guys have guns too, and for them it's way too easy. I don't want your guns. I want others to be held accountable. The number of mass shootings this year alone is astronomical. I don't want your guns. Keep them if you must. But it's 2016, goddammit, and I say enough is enough.